Hello and welcome to Mr. Stewart's lessons. We're going to do a second lesson with sound today. Um, so far what we have going here is um, we're in our sound lesson one, which you will have a link to up above. You can see we created a, a situation where um, if we run the game, we hear a little music and uh, the mouse makes a little noise when he eats a cheese. Um, so, uh, what I want to do here today, uh, you notice that the music doesn't stop even when the game is over unless you press the compile button. What I'd like to do, I'd like to have a play and pause button so that I can turn the music off if I don't want the music playing. Um, so, we're going to add something in here. Uh, what I've got here, first thing I want to show you in my um, in my uh, folder window, um, I have in my the folder window I have m um, created some images, a play and pause button. I'm going to show those to you right now. So here's the folder with my uh, current game in it right now. And if I look in my images, created two images here. This one is a GIF image called pause button. And this is a GIF image called play button. You should be able to make something yourself like that or down something, load something off the internet pretty easily. So uh, what I'm going to do, I want to, I'm going to make a pause and play button, and I'm just going to call it the music because the music is going to be inside this actor. So I'm going to create a new subclass, and I'm going to start with the pause button because the music will be playing, and I'm just going to call this music because all this actor is going to do is have the music in it. And I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to um, compile, and I'll put this in here, up here in the corner, say right here, so it's sort of out of the way. And then I'm going to save the world, so this is part of the world now. Now, what I'm going to do up here in my, my music right now was in my world, but I'm going to take my music out of my world. And I'm going to, so this was this green foot sound, I'm going to take this out of my music, this my music. Uh, out of my uh, world, the my music uh, file, I mean um, variable. So I'm going to close that up and I'm going to put that down here in the music actor, this green foot sound. Oops. And so now I have, um, do some auto layout here, get it pretty. Okay, so now my music is actually. Part of, is part of the music actor. Now in the tile, I'm going to have to m go back in the, I created an act method which was entirely for playing the music, so I want to take that act method out as well. So now there's no act method in my world and my green foot sound is gone from the world, it's not here anymore. My green foot sound, my music is now in the music actor right here. This is the file name of the music, by the way. Okay, this is just the MP3 file that I'm playing. Okay, and I don't have anything in the act method yet for my music actor. So uh, I'm going to compile that now. So now my music uh, actor, I, what I want to do is I want to make it start playing when the game starts. I could put the. I could put it in the constructor and have it start playing as soon as the actor is added to the world, but that's kind of annoying because then it starts playing even before the game starts playing. So I don't really want to do that. Um, if you want to, you could put it in the constructor. What I want to do is I want to have the music start playing when the game starts playing, and I want it to only start on the first turn. I want to start it on the first the first turn of the game and I'm going to start a play loop and then I just want it to happen once. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to create a variable called boolean variable called first turn. So I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say it's going to be true the first turn of the game. And I'm going to say if
if first turn. And this actually I don't, because this is a uh, Boolean variable, I don't have to say if first turn equals equals true. If you have a Boolean variable, you can just say if first turn. That means if it's true, this is going to be happen. If it's false, it's not. So this is going to happen on the first turn. I'm going to say um, my music dot play loop. And this time I am going to want the play loop. This is um, the play loop makes sure that it just plays over and over and over again. And once I start it going, it'll keep going until I stop. And then I'm going to say first first turn equals false. That makes sure that it will only start playing at the very start of the game and then it won't call the play loop again. It actually wouldn't be a problem to call the play loop again, but later on when I pause the music, it's going to uh the, if I if I if it keeps calling play loop again, it's going to unpause it no matter what. So I only want to call the play loop the very first turn. This is how I do it. I make a first turn variable, uh, make it true. I say if the first turn, which if first turn is true, means if first turn is true, it starts the play loop. And then it makes first turn false. So this makes sure that the play loop only starts at the start of when we actually start playing the game. So let me show you what that looks like right now. So notice the music's not playing. I press run and now it is. So this will make sure. But you may notice that even when I pause the game it still keeps playing which is annoying because sometimes we may want to just be working on the game but not have the music playing. I'd like to have this so when I click on the pause button it pauses and then this is going to switch to a play button image. So here's how we're going to do it. So I'm going to um, in my act method, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say if greenfoot dot, and then one of the variable, one of the options in greenfoot is something called mouse clicked here. And here we put in the object that we want to click. We want it, this, I'm just going to put this, which means this button itself, right? So this, uh, if I say greenfoot dot mouse click this, that's going to uh, run if I click on this particular thing, which is this uh, play button. And so uh, what I'm going to do, um, two things I want to do is when I click on it, I want to pause the music. So I'm going to say my music dot, and one of the choices in here is pause. Okay, uh, pause will make sure it will make it stop, but uh, it, if if it starts again, it'll start playing from wherever you left off. So it's going to pause the music, um, and then it's I'm going to say uh, I'm going to what I want is to make my set my image back to a play button, uh, so I can start the music again. So one of the choices here is uh, set image. And the image which I got before, I showed you this before, but I'll just show you again in my images folder. I have a something called play button, right? It's just a GIF image, play button.gif, right? So uh, you're going to have to put something like that in your images folder. Again, you should be able to down something off the internet pretty easily, or if you download the demo for this lesson, it'll already be in there. So I'm going to say play play button dot gif. It is going to set my image to the play button. So um, then I'll pr press close and I'll just show you what that's going to look like. So here's my music going. I'm going to click on here and now we have a play button. But the play button doesn't work yet. I'm going to have to add something else in to make the play button actually work. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to open the code window here. right? Um, so what I want to do is I actually only want this to happen. I only want the music to pause if the music is playing. So I'm going to put an if statement up above here. Up above the mymusic.pause. So I'm going to say if my music 
dot, and then one of the choices if I press the drop down is is playing. So if my music is playing, right? So this is only going to happen if my music is playing. It's going to uh, pause the music and then set the image to the play button. Then what I want is I'm going to want an else statement, which is what's going to happen if my music is already paused. So I'm going to say else, and I'm going to say uh, what I want is I want if my music is not playing, I want it to start playing again. So I'm going to do my music dot, and I'm going to do the play loop, get the play loop going again. and I'm going to set the image to the other one which is my pause button and so now right so what's this doing it's gonna see if my music is playing this this is just determines if my music is playing right now if my music is playing right now it'll pause the music and then it'll put give me the play button because my music is gonna be paused so it's going to be waiting for me to play again. If the music is this else, if the music is not playing, it's going to start playing with the play loop, uh, which is going to make it keep playing till I stop it again. And then I'm going to set the button to the set the image to the pause button. And so let's watch what happens now if I do this. So it starts out. It's going to be playing, right? Music getting annoying. I'm getting tired of it, so I'm going to pause it. and then I want to turn the music back on again turn it off and you notice it keeps going from wherever it was because that's how the pause button does if you didn't want to do that if you didn't want it to start again from where you left off instead of doing pause you could do my music dot stop that's one of the other choices so you could do stop and then it'll stop and it'll start the music again from the beginning when you do play loop again so the play loop the way the play loop does it is if it's paused it'll come back from wherever it paused at and if it's stopped it'll just start again from the beginning and that's our uh, level two music lesson I'll probably try and fit some more interesting music and sound stuff in later on but otherwise I'll see you again soon